Hi, welcome to the Brushing Balkan. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint pox walkers. The first colour that we're going to be using is Vallejo Panzer Aces Flesh Base. It is quite a dark skin colour, but we will be lightening it to give it that sort of rotting look. We're going to do this on all of the flesh parts on them. When we come back, we'll have all of the flesh base done. The next colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Light Green. We're going to use that on a couple of the tentacles. And then we're also going to use Citadel Xerius Purple. And we're going to use that on the other tentacles. When we come back we'll have all the tentacles finished. Next we're going to be using Vallejo Beige Brown and that's just going to be to do all the belts and pouches. When we come back, we'll have all the straps and pouches finished. Next we're going to use Vallejo Black. I'm going to use that to paint the horns and the growth coming out the back of his arm and also the tube that goes through his gas mask. When we come back we'll have all the black finished. Next we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Steel. I'm going to use that just to do his mask, his hammer and a couple of the buckles. When we come back we'll have all the model air steel finished. Next colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Elysian Green. It's a bit of an olive drab colour. We're going to be using that to do like his little shin guard. When we come back, we'll have all the Elysian Green finished. Now we're going to use some Citadel Mephisto on Red. I'm going to be using that for some of the wounds and the air tank which is on his side. Like so. The final base colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Model Air Rust. I'm going to use that just to do the little Nurgle symbol hanging from his belt. Like so. Now we're moving on to the shades. We're going to use Citadel Null Oil. I'm going to use that on all the metallic areas. Like so. Next we're going to use some Athonian Camo Shade and that's just going to be used on this little shin guard. Like 
like so. Now we're going to use Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use that on all of his skin. When we come back, we'll have all the Reichland flesh shades finished. Next is BL Tan Green. We're just going to use that on his tentacles. Now we're going to use Juicy Violet, and that's just going to be used on the red and also on the tentacle at the back there. Like so. The final shade for now is Citadel Agrax Earth shade. I'm just going to use that on his pouches and to do a little bit of discoloration on his hammer. Like so. Now we're just going to use Vallejo Panzer Aces Flesh Base again. I'm going to use that to redo the skin. When we come back, we'll have all the flesh base back on. Next, we've added a little bit of deepkin flesh to the flesh base, and we're just going to use that to do highlights on his skin. When we come back, we'll have all this colour done. Next, we're going to just reapply some Vallejo light green. I'm going to apply this to the green tentacles. Like so. Next we're just going to use a mix of light green and white, we're just going to do a final highlight on these tentacles. Like so. Next we're going to add some Citadel Jean Steel Purple. I'm going to be adding that to the tentacle as the first highlight. When we come back, we'll have all the Jean Steel Purple done. Now we're just going to do a final highlight on the tentacles using Citadel Emperor's Children.
like so. Now we're going to be using some Vallejo Game Color Wash, and it's the red wash. That's just going to be going around all the areas where he's got infected, like pustules and that kind of thing. When we come back, we'll have all the infected red done. Next, we're going to be using a mix of Avalon Sunset and white, and that's just going to be to do all the pustules on his body. When we come back we'll have all the pustules finished. Now we're just going to use a little bit of white to do his eyeballs. Like so. Now we're going to do use a little spot of black and that's just to do the pupils. Now if you put the pupil on that's too big, you can just get a little bit more white paint and go over the far side of it to make it smaller. Like so. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Carabao Crimson. I'm going to use that for the wounds, his mouth and around his eyes. Also do some runs with the blood from the open wounds. Now I'm just going to mix a little bit of my fist on red with black. I'm going to work on the bony protrusions that are coming out of him. Now I'm just adding a little bit more of my fist on red to the mix. And I'm going to repeat the process and do another little layer onto the horn there. Like so. It doesn't matter if it's still a bit wet, you can carry on doing this until you get the nice red that you want. Like so. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Ushapti Bone. I'm going to use that to do his teeth. If you make a mess of any of his teeth like I just have done, you can just get a little bit, tiny bit of carabao crimson and touch that up. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of typhus corrosion, that's just to give a bit of texture to his hammer. Like so. Next we're just going to use some Citadel Riser Rust and that's just to add a little bit of orange to the textured paint there. Like so. Now I've just added a layer of matte varnish and that's just to keep it protected. And the next thing that we're going to do, and the final thing, is to add a little bit of gore using Citadel Blood for the Blood God. When we 
we come back we'll have all the blood from the blood god finished and there we have the finished box walker Thanks for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below. Thanks very much.